What is thinking? I don't know what Che Guevara is thinking. <laughs> and, uh, you know, let a work of art be a work of art, you know. Because uh, when you sell one, you know well. But this I want more for the future, you know. Uh, more like uh, to tell the story for the future. And uh, I hope in future when we start to say uh, we are buying air, <laughs> you know, we, we will reach a stage where air will be bought. Wait, wait, what? Fresh air. Ah, it's bought very soon, eh? Very soon. We can buy very soon fresh one. Mm. You know how serious <laughs> that is? <laughs> My God. I know it might sound, uh, you know, skeptical and funny, but mm. in Zambia, it's only a few years back that you couldn't buy water at all because the water was clean, you know, you can just literally go to the tap and drink the water. Oh. But, uh, and it was taboo, like, to deny somebody water. But now you can because maybe you bought that water in a bottle and it's clean water. It's the only clean and healthy water. And uh, so, mm. it's a warning also for things like pollution, especially here, you know, you know, it's becoming like uh, serious pollution. And so it would, uh, it, it, it wouldn't be so far-fetched to think that at one time, actually, we might be able to be uh, buying fresh air. There would be like fresh air kiosks where, you know, they pump it to you, you know, like some fresh air you're carrying oh on your back. And <laughs> this female figure here and this other one. And this other one here, you see this one standing like a marketeer there. And this lady who is seated down. So I want to work on that. It's called uh, The Lamentations of the Diminishing Green. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I want to put this already, which I'm developing, this face here of a green which is, uh, which is like a lamenting, it's crying actually, with tears flowing. But uh, this is like the wrathful approach of uh, uh, development, so to say. So you'd have one big face of... Uh, of uh, a lamenting, a lamenting green man. <laughs> he's got a bit of yellow on him, but he's a lamenting green man. And then uh, you have uh, the other face of like a really red, lashing man. And whether man or I don't know whether they are male or female or I don't know. They're just figures anyway, representing, uh, representing. Uh, uh, a situation anyway. A situation we can easier relate to. Like I told you, you know, people can easily grasp the message if they can relate to a painting. Like, you know, if they see a face, you know, then they, it's like looking in a mirror, you know. So, if you see a face, then you can easily relate to a topic. That's why I like faces and figures. I, I know the end concept, I know, you know, like how it's supposed to finish, but how then to bring out the figures, how to uh, synchronize the hand and the brain, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always that connection which an artist looks for, you know, the synchronizing of the hand and the brain. Uh, uh, rendering the hand, like, you know, just uh, uh, be one. <laughs> like working at the same instance as the brain, you know, like it's, it's just coordinating instantly. Okay. You, wa you want to watch... Uh Seeds come to life. Mm -hmm. See? Tomato. Here. They're, they're like, you know, pushing. Wow. It's coming like, <laughs> like. And then when I'm bigger, you put in the. Yeah, but look. Look, it's just coming. It's, it's like uh, pushing oh, yeah. the soil. And uh, he's, this just, I think, did it in the morning. Look, they still have soil on top. Oh. But this one, this one is coming. 
you see it <laughs> that's the soil it's pushing it's still in the soil like that it's like coming to life oh yes <laughs> it's amazing yeah